Hello everyone, Kate Crane here with another project for graphics. Uh, now I'm using today a Dural Art wet media film. I wanted to see how it would take watercolour, because it does say it accepts water-based mediums. Turns out it takes watercolour really, really well. It's a simple technique that you can create really fun, colourful pools of colour as backgrounds. And I've used it on here to make greetings cards. To create backgrounds like this, I am using watercolours. Now to me, it seems very strange that you can use watercolours on a surface like this, but you really can. I have cut approximately four inch square, about 10 centimetres, removing the backing. And I'm just working on a piece of white paper so that you can see. I've got a mister bottle ready because water is obviously the key ingredient. And I've got a couple of sets of Prima watercolours. I've got classics and tropicals. Now once this watercolour layer is dry, you can stamp on it, add images, add glitter, add anything on top. It really is amazing. So I'm going to start with a spritz of water. Now as soon as this watercolour hits the water on here, it will start to spread and create these little pools of colour. And I'm almost just scribbling that on. Now an extra spritz will just help that paint to move around a little bit. I'm just, okay, that's not quite dry, but it's dry enough to add a second colour. So I'm going to now add some yellow. I'm going to spritz again, but I'm aiming more for the gaps in between. I'm going to add some blue now. Just need to be careful now about crossing colours because I might make shades of green or purple or I can keep it separate so I keep just a clean blue. I'm going to spritz again and I'm aiming for these gaps now where I've got some space. Now, if you wanted to make your patches of colour a little bit stronger, so where I've got my pink, I can add colour on top of that and it will just increase that so this time I'm going on with a darker red. And by spritzing again straight away, that darker pinky red is spreading out. And I can do the same in the areas of yellow. I'm going on with a, a slightly deeper shade of yellow. I'm going to stamp on my background now. So I've picked out some matching colours and I've picked out a few texture stamps and I'm just going to put blues on blues, reds on reds, yellows on yellows. Once these watercolours and stamping is dry, you can pretty much put anything on top. I've got a white pen, so I'm going to add um, a little bit of doodling with a white pen. with more stamping, more doodling, until you're happy with it. piece of white card that really makes those colours pop and then on a piece of black card and then onto my greetings card and to finish off I've cut another piece of Durabar slightly bigger and I'm just going to literally hold that in place and stitch around the edge with my sewing machine. Here are my completed cards from this transformed with a simple watercolour palette these finished cards. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you'll have fun playing with watercolours on Dural Art Wet Media too.